Welcome back to Parenting Roadmaps, a video series providing parents with short weekly videos designed to guide you along the journey of childhood, making sure you don't miss any amazing sights along the way. This is episode number 15 of the preschool series. So far, we have covered the physical domain and the social and emotional domain of child development. In this episode, we are going to wrap our brains around the cognitive domain. As parents, you have such a unique opportunity to see your child's cognitive growth, something so miraculous, develop through the simplicity of everyday living. Learning through everyday living, the cognitive domain. Let's take a minute and think back to some previous episodes. As you hopefully remember, the physical domain isn't simply about moving your body. You have your fine motor skills, your gross motor skills, there's balance and coordination, just to name a few. All of those and more combine to make up the physical domain. And the same is true with the social and emotional domain. Self-regulation, reading the emotions in others, getting along with others, and the list continues. All of those play an important role in the social and emotional domain. So do you think the cognitive domain will be any different? No. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the tendency is to simply define the cognitive domain by the information you know, learning your ABCs and one, two, threes. But you guessed it, the cognitive domain is so much more. It's about how information is processed. How does your preschooler take in information? How do they organize that information? And how do they use that information? Described in a different way, we are looking at how someone thinks explores, and solves problems. So let's take a closer look at the cognitive domain. What are some of the skills that make up the cognitive domain? Thinking, reasoning, problem solving, memory, attention, understanding cause and effect, pattern recognition, comparison, language development, imagination, and creativity. It's not so simple, is it? One area of cognitive development that has received a lot of attention in recent years is called executive function. It's a skill like any other that will develop over time, including the preschool years. Executive function is often compared to air traffic control. The ability to be in a situation with multiple bits of information coming in, filtering information and prioritizing needs while keeping emotions under control. An aspect of the cognitive domain that is unique to the early childhood years is the rapid growth and development of the human brain during the first five years of life. During these preschool years, brain development is about creating those neurological pathways, expanding those pathways, connecting those pathways, and creating well-traveled pathways. What is happening to your child's brain during the preschool years can simply be described as miraculous. However, for this miraculous development to occur, it doesn't, thankfully, require miraculous actions from the outside world. Everyday life experiences are all that's needed if you, the parent, are paying attention to these experiences and take advantage of what these experiences can offer your child. Those neurological pathways that you want to expand and connect are developed by sparking your child's curiosity to the world around them, by capturing moments when you can expand their thinking and connect new knowledge to information they already know. The cup of ice left on the counter overnight is now a cup of water. What has happened here? Think about what happens to your ice cream when you don't eat it fast enough. Two colors, yellow and blue. What do you see happen when we mix the colors together? Do you think the same thing would happen if we mixed blue and red together? What color do you think they would make? There are three candles on the birthday cake. Your brother is turning eight. How many candles do we need to add to make eight? How do you think the kite flies so high up in the sky? How do these poles help the kite fly? This box is smaller than the one that we just wrapped. Do you think we need more wrapping paper or less wrapping paper to wrap this package? I'm using this piece of fruit for dinner tonight. I'm not sure that you've tried this before. Would you like a taste? Does this taste like anything else that we eat? 
Nothing too miraculous happening on the outside, just simply finding moments in everyday experiences to build that stronger foundation. These moments aren't hard to come by. When you simply start to pay attention, you'll find them sprouting up everywhere. Next week, we will do a little bit of problem solving ourselves by taking a closer look at puzzles. Have a wonderful week expanding your child's cognitive domain by exploring your everyday experiences. And as always, remember to enjoy the journey.